about some October favorites. First thing that I want to talk about is some fashion favorites. First and foremost, these boots. I have been wearing these boots daily, probably too much, but they're so comfortable and they go with everything. They are really casual, but at the same time they're sleek and they have elastic here, which makes them really, really comfortable. They're from Steve Madden and I will link them below for you guys because I can't remember the exact name of these boots but I'll find them on stevemadden.com and link it below for you guys. But I love these with some um, jeans cuffed at the bottom. They just look really cute and they're perfect for fall. I wanted a shorter boot and so I thought these were perfect. Moving on to my next fashion favorite, these jeans from Topshop are so cute. I love the color. It actually goes really well with this shirt. These are, I just love that they're just like this really rich wine color. I think it's so perfect for fall. I love getting colored jeans for the fall time. It just adds so much richness to your outfit and to your closet and I just love wearing fall colors. I mentioned these in my fashion must-haves for fall video which I'll link below for you guys. I will also find the link for you guys on these if I can find them on Topshop.com. I will definitely link those for you guys below. I never purchase expensive sunglasses. I usually buy the $10 glasses and I'll buy a bunch of them because I love them in all different shapes and colors and I lose sunglasses a lot, but I finally built up the courage to put a little bit of money down for these Ray-Ban Clubmaster sunglasses. I think they are so cool. I kept seeing them around and every time I saw them, I just thought I have to have those. I love the gold and black together. Anything that is black with gold accents just is my weakness. I love black and gold together, especially in accessories like purses and sunglasses and stuff like that. So these were definitely a weakness for me. I love how classic they are. They will probably, in my opinion, never go out of style. Next we have skincare. Now I feel like I have been talking about new skincare products every favorites video, but that's because I have been trying out a lot of different skincare products. Right now, uh, this last month, I have been loving this L'Occitane. L'Occitane? I looked up how to pronounce it because I wasn't 100% sure. It is French, so I watched a video, the founder was saying it, and he has a beautiful French accent, and he was saying L'Occitane something along the lines of that. So I probably butchered that, but I tried. Hey, I did my research, so you gotta give me that. This is a cleansing milk and this is a toner. I love the cooling effect that this has. I love the moisturizing effect that this has. It just feels so luxurious when you put it on your face. It really feels like you are putting a really thick milk on your face, which I really like the feeling of, but it cools your face, so almost like a really cold, thick milk that you're washing your face with that is moisturizing your face and also making it extremely clean. Now on to beauty products. This nail polish I'm actually wearing right now, it looks probably on camera like it's black, but it's actually a deep wine-ish purple color. Um, it's Black Cherry Chutney by OPI and I re-fell in love with this nail polish. I've actually had this nail polish for probably over a year and I love it every winter. I love how dark it is. It almost looks like it could be black, but it's not. It has a little bit of color under there. It's really pretty. It almost has like a gold shimmer to it too, if you look closely. This is a stunning color. I've been wearing this a lot lately. I've just been reapplying it. The next beauty product that I want to talk about is this lip pencil from MAC. It is in the color Spice. Guys, I've talked about this before and I'm going to talk about it again. I love it and I'm obsessed with it and I think that it is such a bomb color. I saw on Twitter that Kim Kardashian came out and said how Kylie Jenner gets her big pouty lips and I was not surprised when they said that it was because she uses a lip liner to outline her lips and make them look a little bit more plump because 
I do that as well. I think it's awesome. I don't do it all the time, but when I use a lip liner, I do. And I think to myself, why don't I always do this? Because, sorry about that toy noise from Hendrix. <laughs> he has a little, like, squishy, I don't even know what that is. It's like a bear with a, with a nose. It's like a, a horn. I have no idea what animal that is, but it's a little squishy toy and it makes lots of noise. So, sorry about the noise. That's it for this month's favorites video. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I love you. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Ah!